Yesterday was the fourth week of Advent, and now the only candle that hasn't been lit yet on the Advent wreath this year is the Christ candle that we light on Christmas Eve. With only a few days left to go, we can ask ourselves, are we ready? The very, very wise Reverend Dan Thomas once said that Christmas is too big a miracle to grasp without preparation. And if you are anything like me, this Advent, the daily devotion you committed yourself to read started so strong and is finishing less so. He hoped for better balance this year of service and generosity versus lists and sales. Just might not hold up if you look at the data of my bank account or screen time usage. Perhaps you have your own example or two of a strong start and less so finish. Maybe prayer practice, Bible reading, faith activities you wanted to do with your family. But ready or not, Christmas is very near. Friday is Christmas. It's practically here. The donkey has already left the station. The donkey has left Nazareth to make its slow trek to south to Bethlehem. The star is already moving into its position, and the angels are plotting their course to the hillside where the shepherds will be found. God will do what God will do, regardless of whether we have done what we said we would, because God always moves first. God moves first in forgiveness in setting a path before us, in shining a light into any dark places within or around us. God very much wants us to get the most out of what God gives, to be ready for a love more powerful than any we can imagine so that we can hold as much of it as possible when that love comes close, when the light of the world shines upon us. God wants us to get the most out of it, out of it. But even if we did nothing in Advent, or very little, or half of what we had hoped, God is right now on the way to you with good news of great joy for all people, light and life to all he brings. Or in the words of Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist, by the tender mercy of our God, The dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go in peace.